Hey friends, it's Miss Sheila, and right now I'm gonna talk to you about what I call baby sign language. And they are simple signs that we can use with our little ones to help them when they are making their journey with emerging language from a few words babbling to more words and creating a lexicon. So one of the most important signs and basically the first one that I start with is more. All the child does, you bring your two hands together, more. That's the way that it looks. Sometimes you might see somebody saying, more, more. You can be expressive with your sign. This is something that you can do at meal times. Do you want more? If you're having something like, let's say oatmeal, if you're playing and you're using a puzzle with your child, you can play with your child and you might have all the pieces. And in order to access them, your child needs to ask for more. And once you've mastered more, once the child has mastered more, you're able to move on to mm -hmm, yes, yes, and get that expressive language out. Because remember, receptive language is what our child understands. Expressive language is what our child is able to verbalize. Um, another important sign that I love to do is help. Thumbs up, palm out, help. If they need help, help, you need help please? Hmm? Please, we rub our tummy like when something tastes good. Please? Please? And again, you can use a silly voice when you do this because the hope is that your child is gonna pick up on it rather quickly and they're gonna have a lot of fun using that sign and they're gonna start to babble or make the p -p please. They're gonna start to produce sounds and isolation that are eventually going to lead to words. So we've done more. Do you need help? Another one, if you do have to deal with behavior and also to help you and your child when you're dealing with frustration and when a child is not able to communicate with you, because right now, remember, we're advocating for them. They're still working on their voice. So we're, we, we are their voice right now. No. Just, it almost looks like a dinosaur mouth to me. No, no. You can tell a child no, a child can tell you no. That lets them know that you, that, that lets you know, excuse me, that they dislike something, they, they want to discontinue. Another one that if you are working with your child and you're done with an activity, all done. You put your hands kind of low, all done, wave them. So if your child might be, let's say, getting out of the bathtub and they've had some toys in the bathtub, they might've had a little bit of that bathroom paint that they use on the bathtubs and you can ask them, all done? And they can say, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yes. Uh, it, it's a way of communicating. And remember, even if they don't do it at first, it doesn't mean that they don't understand. They might understand, but they are not yet coordinated with their gross motor skills and fine motor skills. They just might not be ready for it. The most important thing is for you to continue modeling. Now, I mentioned no. Remember I said more. Help. No. If you do have to deal with behavior, stop. That's kind of like when we say time out to somebody. Stop. I use that one only when I'm firm. Stop. I don't, I don't like it to be fun. I use my firm voice whenever I do it with a child. We also went over all done so that we can let somebody know when we're done with something. We said, please, please. And the hope is that your child is gonna be able to get that and move on to that next part of expressive language. And before I go, I just wanna say, look down below and if there's something that I've missed, that you want me to go over with your child, let me know. These are what I like to think of as the gateways towards expressive speech, speech language development. They are simple signs that we can use to get more language out of our little ones. Thank you for watching.